So you want to manifest your dream life, right? Me too. Me too. We're on the same page there. If you're watching this video, you came across it for a reason. If you're trying to manifest something, you need some inspiration, you need some wisdom, some knowledge, <laughs> and you need some help, and that's okay. We all do. Trust me. I've watched hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of videos on manifestation, and I have been manifesting my dream life for a while. Obviously, I'm not fully in that reality just yet, but I'm on my way and you can be too. You probably already are. So today I'm talking about the most important thing to do when you're manifesting. This is something that's so crucial that if you don't do it, most of your methods will not work. I got my iced lavender dirty chai with macadamia milk ready to go and I'm ready to talk about some manifestations. Okay, so I'm gonna tell you what the technique is, share two manifestation success stories, and then tell you how to apply it yourself. So the technique is pretty much acting as if and feeling your manifestations, feeling everything that you would feel as if it was already yours, matching your energy to the frequency of that which you desire. It's so, so, so crucial, and I'm gonna explain why in a few minutes. I just wanna tell you two success stories to give you some motivation so that you realize that this really does work. Okay, so there's two things that are big that I manifested that honestly, I knew that I could, but I like when it happened, I was like, bitch, I really did that. Like I really manifested this. And I actually have physical items to show them. So I'll show you those because why not? Hold on. So I manifested writing my first book as well as getting it in major retailers such as Target nationwide walmart barnes and nobles indigo amazon everything you could possibly think of then i also manifested my hundred thousand subscribers on my other channel which is something that i worked towards for years and made it all happen in like a year so i'm going to explain these to you right now so i'm going to talk about the book real quick so writing a book is something that i always wanted i always loved to write and i had a passion for it i made a million blogs online i have like a bunch of short stories in my basement. I had a Wattpad account. I just always wanted to write a book. As I grew up and evolved and grew into my spiritual journey, I had this like urge to write a spiritual self-help book, but just never really knew how to do it. So I educated myself on certain things so I could learn more for this book that I hadn't really thought I was gonna write. So I just kind of always said, I just want to write a book one day. I really want to write a book one day. Like I just acted as if one day I'll write a book. I just don't know when, don't know how, but it's going to happen. And one day I just get an email from a publishing agency saying that like they want to talk to me about writing a book and like long story short, a bunch of contracts were drawn up, a bunch of Zoom meetings were done, a bunch, bunch of phone calls were done and I was offered a book deal. I got the book deal and, and then my next step was manifesting getting it in major retailers because most people write a book and it never sees the light of day they just promote it on their instagram they sell it on like their own personal website and call it a day me i wanted this shit worldwide i wanted it everywhere and it happened like a dream of mine is on my vision board from last year i can show you a little clip of it right here that's the indigo logo indigo is the canadian version of barnes and nobles it's the exact same thing just with a canadian name I wanted it in Indigo, that was my dream. I wanted it in Target and it's there. If you go to the store, you will see my book, which is crazy. And I always said like, I, this is gonna happen. I just know what I feel. I used to take my phone because it had a picture of the book cover on it way before the book was even like written. And I would pretty much just hold my phone up in the spirituality section of Barnes and Nobles and look at it in this section and be like, wow, my book's gonna look so good there. I can't wait to see my book like sitting next to all these astrology books and i'm like damn my name's gonna be right there that's crazy and i would always walk into the bookstore and just imagine that my book was there and get so excited and happy and like imagine myself going to the cashier and being like that's my book like i wrote this book and i was so excited to do that like i just knew it was gonna happen i literally acted as if it was already in action and it wasn't it was not in action at all they hadn't even negotiated my book to retailers yet it wasn't even written yet but i still did that and lo and behold it happened so that is acting as if and it really works because it happened <laughs> go to target go buy my book <laughs> it's called mindfulness through the stars so the other manifestation is my youtube plaque um not so much the plaque but the hundred thousand subscribers like i had a youtube channel i had 10 youtube channels up until the year 2016 i started a million and i never really cared about it i just thought youtube was so fun 
and I just had fun. Like I never was trying to grow. I never did anything to grow it. I didn't use tags. I didn't make thumbnails. Like I literally did the bare minimum and just uploaded and moved on with my life. Like that's it. No banner, no name, no nothing. It was just fun for me, right? One day I wake up and I'm like, I want to start a real YouTube channel and I want this to be the one that actually like takes off and becomes my job. And I was like, okay, and I made my YouTube banner. I made a, an intro, I made thumbnails, I made a name, I made an Instagram, I made everything. And I was like, this is gonna be my job. Like this is gonna be the channel that actually works. Like the one that I actually care about, this is it. Like I can't wait until I'm making money off this. Like I'm so excited. And I like put my everything into YouTube and non-stop, non-stop, just working, 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 grinding, 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 telling myself I cannot wait until I get that plaque. I can't wait until I, like, it was not a question. It was not uh, like, if I succeed, like I hope one day, like, oh, like it'd be so cool to, no, it was, I cannot wait until I get my plaque. I cannot wait until I blow up on YouTube. I can't wait until I show people that don't believe in me that I'm actually doing something. I was just so excited for the results to come because I knew they were coming and I was acting as if they were already on their way and it happened exactly how I planned it to happen. So what I'm trying to tell you guys, now that I've shared two success stories, Act as if what you want is already yours. Don't wonder, don't hope, don't, mm, maybe this will happen. No, this is the time to really put all of your energy into it and expect the results and expect the success and expect everything that you want. I know I always say it, but you literally just have to match your energy to the frequency of the reality that you want. And I struggle with this sometimes. Like this morning, I woke up so sad. I started crying. I don't know, maybe it's a retrograde full moon plus my period. Like, I started crying. I was in a bad mood. I didn't want to film. I wasn't feeling it. And I just like, I hate putting that energy out there. Where you're going to have days like I did today where you just don't feel good. And it doesn't necessarily mean you're stopping your blessings, but I will say that the more high vibrational energy you put out the more high vibrational reality you will get back in 3d so what you need to do is imagine the life that you want and align to it so for example if you want to be a youtuber you want to be a popular successful famous youtuber make some room on your wall for that youtube plaque start posting things as if you're already on and popping i know it feels weird to talk to your 20 followers about like a lot of you guys have been asking me about my skincare routine but like that's what a youtuber does so fucking do it like do you know how silly i felt posting tutorials for my curly hair when only white people followed me because that's what I grew up around. I felt silly. I was like, none of you bitches know anything about curly hair or need to know, but I was acting as if I already had a fan base of hundreds of thousands, and that's what happened for me. I literally had that come back to me in the 3D reality. So it might feel silly, it might feel like pretending, and that's okay. You are acting as if, and that's all that matters. Trust your journey. Don't worry about what other people think about you because you know where you want to end up, and you need to start acting like you're already there. If you want a book, if you want to write a book and publish a book, maybe reach out to a graphic designer and get them to design the cover for you so that you you have something tangible to imagine when you think about that book that's going to be in stores that you're going to write. If you want to manifest that dream job, start waking up at the time you would wake up to go to work. If you know that job starts at 10, wake up at 8 o'clock in the morning, get ready, blah, 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 blah. Think about what you would do before work and just be ready. Get your, get your body ready to start waking up for that job because you know that you're going to get it. When I was going to move, I literally drove around the area and imagined myself going to the grocery store by my house and going here and going there and started driving around trying to familiarize myself with this area because I loved this area and apartment so much that I knew I wanted to get approved on it and the odds were not in my favor. I'm telling you, like the odds were not in my favor. I actually got declined for this apartment because I'm a YouTuber so my pay stubs are very weird and um, I literally did not give up and I drove around this area like it was mine. I was like, ooh, I can't wait to go sit and meditate there with my blanket. Ooh, there's a pizza nova so close to me. Like I acted as if it was already mine and I already got approved and I got approved. I probably shouldn't have gotten approved at that time because I did not have the proper pay stubs, but I got approved. So you need to match your 
frequency whatever it is that you want you need to pretend like you have it and you need to believe it and you need to feel it that's the most important part you need to feel it when your heart is in it it makes it so much stronger i'm telling you it's like it's like your battery's on three percent but when you feel it in your heart it's like your battery's on a hundred percent because the energy is so strong that you're literally emitting those waves out to the universe of that loving heart source energy and that will bring your manifestations to you so much quicker if you don't feel it internally it's not going to happen you could script out all your desires in your notebook but if you're just writing it's not going to happen you have to write it you have to feel it you have to believe it you have to really feel it. When I script, sometimes I'll start crying. Sometimes I'll be so happy, I'll feel shivers. Sometimes I'll be literally getting so excited, I'll start smiling while I'm writing it because I feel it like, oh my God, this is mine. Like I, I can't wait and I feel so excited. And I just, I can't emphasize the word feel enough. I'm telling you, if you're trying to manifest, you need to feel it in your heart. You can't just be writing, thinking, you gotta feel it and you gotta believe it. Like. I'm telling you, you might sound crazy, I might sound crazy, but if you're trying to manifest, I mean, that's what you gotta do. Another good way of manifesting is obviously visualization. Before I go to bed, I like to imagine my dream life as if it's there. So it's literally like daydreaming, but at night. So you know when you like a boy and you imagine like they're holding your hand, you're crushing on each other, and like you get those little butterflies in your stomach while you're going to sleep and you just think about like them. I used to do that in high school all the time. Like the guys that I liked, I used to always imagine like bumping into them on the bus and like sitting with them and talking with them. And um, it would it would literally put me to sleep because I was so happy. And like this sounds crazy, but <laughs> guys, I remember one time I was in college and I was thinking about this boy and i thought he was so cute so i was always i knew we took the same bus but we never saw each other so like i went to bed that night and i imagined this was before i really knew about how visualization and the law of attraction worked before i went to bed i imagined that i got on the bus first and i sat in a specific seat and the reason why i imagined the seat is because it's not awkward i get to face the front and he sits across from me and we can like see each other without having to make direct eye contact but we're also not next to each other so we still get to make a little bit of eye contact i was so specific about i want to sit here like i wasn't even trying to manifest i was just imagining it because i was like this is the perfect situation like i would love for this to happen and i imagined that we got on the bus i got on first and then he saw me and i he like caught me off guard and like i was like because oh, i have social anxiety so like if i saw him before he saw me like i'd be like look down you know so i was like i want to make sure i don't see him first like i was just imagining and the next day it happened the next day it happened and i did not really know what the law of attraction was so i was just like what the fuck i was so mind blown i'm sitting on the bus and i'm on my blackberry or whatever no my stamps on my samsung and then he taps me and i was like mind blown we had one class together so we knew each other a little bit and then we spent the whole hour long bus ride talking he asked for my number and we played pool the next day bitch i'm telling you like i did not know what this shit was but because i felt the excitement in my heart and i imagined it so vividly it happened it that's happened to me three times with three different boys my manifestations are strong when i really want something so yeah and I'm, I'm telling you guys feeling it in your heart is the most important thing you could do but yeah i just wanted to share that because i feel i don't know i felt compelled to do so but um please share your manifestation stories in the comments down below tell me the most insane manifestation that you brought into your life like tell me the one that made you go like holy shit like am i a magician like i want to know your manifestation story so that we can all inspire each other and just i don't know it feels good when you read other people's stories so yeah i hope you enjoyed this video if you did don't forget to give it thumbs up i never say that follow me on instagram i'm more active now ash flores tv on instagram and i guess that's it i will see you in the next video bye guys